Over the plains, Shadowfax was flying, needing no urging and no guidance. Less than an hour had passed, and they had reached the fords of Eisen and crossed them. The mound of the riders and its cold spears lay behind them. The mound of the riders and its cold spears lay behind them. The mound of the riders and its cold spears lay behind them. If I had a dollar for every time Tolkien outworded me, I would be a rich, rich man. You hear me, Tolkien? You should have made your story into movies instead. That way we could have just gotten it over with in a couple hours instead of a couple months. Nobody enjoys this. I do not ride elf fashion except on Shadowfax, said Gandalf. But Shadowfax will have no harness. You do not ride Shadowfax. He is willing to carry you or not. If he is willing, that is enough. Oh boy. Here we go again. Tank told me once that Tolkien used over a hundred pages to describe just one house. I didn't believe him then. I still don't believe him now. I don't remember any other houses later on in the movies. Maybe the eye tower has some significance. Doesn't Frodo go there? Maybe he talks about Bag End some more later on. Perhaps they counted every time he talks about Bag End and then added it all up to a hundred pages. Or maybe he just meant that there are over a hundred pages just describing houses in the series. I wonder if that would include The Hobbit. Over the plains, Shadowfax was flying, needing no urging and no guidance. Very wordy. I bet most movie makers enjoy getting the privilege of making movies based off of a book, lest they'd have to come up with on their own. But not me. Way too much useless stuff to sort through. I'd also come up with a better story than anything else that's out there. Wait, am I saying that directors who base movies off of books don't have much talent? Maybe. There's a fine line between a good story and a good movie, but people are constantly making different movies based off of different books. Forrest Gump, Jurassic Park, Shawshank Redemption, I think. Paddington, I guess? Hey, props to Percy Jackson for making a fulfilling Lord of the Rings trilogy. Though I guess it's not entirely fulfilling because here I am reading the books. Over the plains, Shadowfax was flying, needing no urging and no guidance. Jeez, how did I get to talking about Paddington? Well, it started with talking about how wordy Tolkien was. Then I thought about making movies based off of books. Then I was thinking about other movies loosely based on books. Which brought me back to the book. It circled around. That's pretty convenient. Convenience. That's a nice word. Reminds me of that one movie where the pastor preached at the convenience store. It's convenient, he said. Hank. Was that the movie about a dog? Or am I thinking of Transformers? No, that was something else. Man, that was a terrible movie. Even Grandma thought it was bad. I wonder if Grandma's opinion is a valid source. What movies does she like? Well, I could have told you what she thought of my favorite movie, but she didn't take it when I offered it to her. Slumdog Millionaire is not my favorite movie. Sure it is. I've only seen it once, and that was two years ago. Yeah, I don't want to get sick of it. When I watch it for a second time, it'll be just like the first. Or maybe I might realize something I didn't get the first time, and then I hate it. Bam, supporting a movie you hate. Fine, I'll watch it again sometime. Then I can say it's my favorite movie. What about The Lord of the Rings? They're pretty good. So are the books, I guess. Over the plains, Shadowfax was flying, needing no urging and no guidance. Less than an hour had passed, and they had reached the fords of Eisen, and... So am I saying Baby Driver's my favorite movie? I've seen it twice. So twice is all that's needed? I bet if I watched it five times, I wouldn't see any difference. I'm just saying that because it's not considered a classic. Well, I'm the one who likes to buy movies I haven't seen yet. If I look in the back, and I see good reviews on it, it's most of the time good. Most of the time. Remember Only the Brave? That was just a bad marketing technique. But I've only seen it once. How do I know if it's bad? Well, I've only seen it once also. How do I know if it's good? I didn't say it was good. So I'm saying it's bad? Okay then. Who said Spider-Man Homecoming is bad? Me. Who said Crimes of Grindelwald is bad? It is bad. I'm undecided, remember? Who thought Minority Report was terrible? I have no proof that it's good. I just watched some videos about it, and now I think it's good. It's Spielberg. Okay, what's the point? Yeah. The point is, those are all movies I have seen only once, but upon sleeping on it, my mind got changed. So you saying I'm going to have to wait till I sleep to give my opinions about movies? I guess. I still like Lord of the Rings. Dead gallant.